Uh, what's good, people? You know who this is. This is ISCD Hinton of the Scene Sports Comedy. Um, I haven't come up with my conclusion for my AFC North predictions. I'll probably do so later tonight if I don't forgive me. But curfew has officially been lifted from New York City. It, was, it wasn't supposed to be lifted until, I think, 5 a.m. this morning. Bill de Blasio canceled it at night early. From reasons I've heard, I'm not 100% on this, but reasons I've heard is that, you know, he's seen how the police have been acting towards the people, specifically the people in New York City, but more importantly, people all over the country. And as far as the city goes, this curfew thing hasn't really brought us the best. Um, I think the quarantine hasn't really brought us the best either. And right now, the city, and right now the city's law enforcement is just, they're overthinking everything. They're taking way too many steps. But that's a topic neither here nor there. That's not why I came to this. That's not why I came to discuss. I'm just letting you guys know, you know, the background of what I'm about to discuss. Now the foreground is a much bigger issue as far as police brutality on minorities. And listen, we have to hold everyone accountable, especially athletes, particularly NFL players. Because I, I, I just I just find it unfair now. I'm not saying, before I call it unfair, yes, I understand what Drew Brees said was hurtful to minorities. But let's not forget that silence is the biggest brother to discrimination. As long as you sit there and don't say anything, the shit's gonna continue to go on because the people in power are gonna let it go on. Now, if you're one of those people who are just gonna sit there looking at your fingernails all day, sipping your tea, looking outside, looking outside, looking in the state you're in and looking in the neighborhood you're in and just watching minorities get shot and you're just looking, you get shot by police unfairly, get arrested by police unfairly, and you're just looking at it like it's just some potential, like it, not potential, but you're just looking at it like some regular everyday shit. Potentially, you've done some wrong. I'm not saying you've done anything wrong, but I'm just saying potentially because you're sparking ignorance because you're ignoring the issue. You're sparking ignorance on the issue. And people forget that saying nothing sometimes means saying something. Saying nothing in most cases means you're saying you don't care. You're saying you're not going to speak on this because it doesn't affect you or your family or your wife. Now, there's two kinds of people I'm speaking on. The person that speaks on the issue and the person that ignores the issue. And there's a first and last name for Exhibit A and Exhibit B that I have here. Exhibit A is Drew Brees, the person who spoke on the issue. He apologized for his comments because he said, I'm not gonna stand, he said, I'm not gonna really, you know, I don't stand for, you know, disrespecting the flag of the United States of America. But Drew Brees understands the history of America very, 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 very well. And he knows that there's nothing liberal, there's nothing, there's nothing free, there's nothing just about this about this nation. There's the, the the government the government we have that set the rules rules for this country are very are not impartial at all. They are not impartial. They have very specific rules for very specific people. All right, and we know what I'm talking about when I mean very specific rules for very specific people. So for you to say, oh, you're disrespecting the flag. What does the flag mean? Huh? What does it really mean? What does it mean for you to say you're not going to let someone disrespect it? Because in order for you to sit there and say that, you have to understand what this country has been through. And it has not been prosperity for everyone. It had, for some countries, it's been prosperous. For some countries, it's been a good living under certain conditions. Here, the only people that live good are the people that live and eat off our taxes. And some of those people, a small percentage of those people, Believe it or not, our NFL owners, okay? Now, my issue is this. If you find what Drew Brees said to be so wrong and so ignorant and so outstandingly stupid, right? Why aren't you mad at Tom Brady? This man is the definition of ignorance, of ignorance towards, of ignorance towards, um, of ignorance towards 
police brutality. This man is the definition of I don't care about anyone but myself. But again, ESPN, Fox Sports, all of these national sports now, all of these national flagship sports networks are just gonna kiss his ass and let him pass it and let him pass this shit by like a blunt. All right, Drew Brees said what he said. Jake Fromm said what he said. What Jake Fromm said was a little bit more disrespectful. But they said something. It was disrespectful. Drew, Drew Brees apologized for what he said. Jake Fromm, I haven't heard of an apology from him. I'm not going to speak on him right now. But Drew Brees apologized. Drew Brees acknowledged what he did wrong. Tom Brady is someone who 99% of the time will never acknowledge what he did wrong. Unless someone kisses his ass and pats him on the back about it. Somebody has to, somebody has to treat him like a little kid or treat him like he did something right for him and say, oh, you know what, it was a little too much. A little too much. But when somebody sticks it to his face and lets him know when he's wrong, he, he doesn't admit it. He doesn't admit it. We've seen it with the deflate gate scandal, all right? We've seen it with a number of other things. But my biggest example, during the coronavirus pandemic, I like to call it pandemic because a lot of the chaos that has happened in this country within this year has been planned very well thought out and very well concocted by the government and and everybody's sitting here telling me it's not a joke it's not a hoax you know this is a real deal this is a real issue real issue for real issue for who i haven't seen the coronavirus numbers since the protests have happened real issue for who no the real issue is the real issue is no matter what we're going through our law our law enforcement will never support our people that's the big issue drew Brees apologized for ignoring that tom brady is sitting here ignoring that but yet during the pandemic when he trespasses someone's house he says oh you know just sitting here trespassing in tampa bay or whatever first of all to, and to the mayor of tampa how dare you let an athlete come to your city and disrespect and disrespect and just call and call it his how dare you let this man even think he could do what he wants on your turf when there are black and latino people who can't even walk these streets at night it's 11 o'clock at, right, at night right now so i'm speaking on right now there are blacks and latinos who can't even walk on the street right now without being approached or beaten or killed or arrested by police and if Florida is the biggest, biggest state where we have this issue, you let Tom Brady come to that very city in that very state, letting him think he could do what he wants. And of course, what do you do, Mayor of Tampa? You just pat him on the back about it. You send him an email of apology. Apology? So this man deserves an apology for ignoring social issues? And, and now, when we have the protests going on, Drew Brees, you need to apologize. Drew Brees, Drew Brees did the right thing. Tom Brady isn't saying anything at all. He's not taking a stand. He's not standing up for us. Colin Kaepernick stood up. Okay, Anquan Bolden stood up. Michael Bennett stood up. Marshawn Lynch stood up. Russell Wilson, to a certain extent, stood up. Aaron Rodgers, to a certain extent, stood up. Tom Brady, the six-time champion you all love so much, has not said shit, but you wanna know why? Because guess what? Tom Brady himself, and I'm going to say this with every bit of my soul, because in my soul, I truly believe this. Tom Brady is the big, is the, he's the most beautiful ass kisser of the 1%. Donald Trump loves him. Robert Kraft loves him. All the NFL owners love him. Why? Because he's an example of the kind of player they all want on their team. Shut up and do your job. Don't speak on so don't speak on what's going on in, around the world. Just focus on what's going on for going on with the team. Take pay cuts so so we can get more players for everyone to win. I don't care how much money you deserve. I can't pay that for you right now. Tom Brady accepts all of that. Tom Brady loves all because because see he knows he knows that as long as he keeps that smile on his face and he keeps acting like nothing is wrong, nobody's, and he, and he keeps acting like he just never does any wrong, people are gonna treat him that way. 
and honestly, this man has been treated, and honestly, this man has been pampered. This 43-year-old man has been pampered since he was 22, coming out of Michigan, by ESPN, by the NFL for far too long. Far too long. During the Deflate Gate scan, during the Deflate Gate scandal, no one knew who did that on the Patriots. Tom Brady got the punishment for it, and because we thought it was so unfair, a four-year suspension he was supposed to get this year. I mean, that year he got the year after. Now, honestly, I'm going a little bit off topic, so let me just say this: silence helps discrimination. Silence from the people who can do something about it is the reason why nothing is being done about it. And I understand you're an athlete. So you're in a position and so you're in a helpless position enough because you don't make the laws. I get that. You don't make the rules. I get that. But you have a platform, sir. If this was happened, if this was to happen to your wife and to one of your children, best believe you would stand up. But you wanna know why? Because this whole and the league, the entire NFL has it made for him so nothing bad ever happens to him so he takes zero percent zero percent of the criticism even when he deserves it he still doesn't get it somehow i'm not gonna be one of these people that's gonna keep i'm not one of these people that's gonna do that's gonna demand an apology from only certain people if one athlete is supposed to stand up they're all supposed to stand up one of us is, if one of us is supposed to stand up, then we're all supposed to stand up. Tom Brady is an upper class white male and the upper class white male that the entire NFL loves. So right now, he's benefiting from everything that's happening. He, he benefited from the CBA. That's why he didn't talk about it. He, he had an advantage over the pandemic because for, because most places in Florida would continue we continue their sporting events. That's why he didn't speak on that. No one, and I mean no one in the media, will pressure Tom Brady to come forth and say and stand up for our issues, but we can do the same for Drew Brees when he says something wrong. And once again, this man isn't saying anything. Why? Because the entire league is going to make sure that no matter what happens to anyone, Tom Brady is the number one priority. He is the league's favorite son. And you know what? It would be one thing if you kept that in the back of your mind and treated everyone fairly and conducted it as a business. Because the NFL is a business, don't get me wrong, but it's a crooked business and we all know it. The only thing I blame the NFL, I don't blame the NFL for what's happening to minorities. You know what I blame the NFL for? I blame them for what happened to Ezekiel Elliott. I blame them for letting the market, for letting the free agency market override quarter override quarterbacks and over override running backs and overpaid quarterbacks. I blame them for that stuff. For the stuff that's happening to blacks and Latinos across the world, especially in New York, especially in Florida, where Tom Brady is sitting down and sipping his tea now. Like I blame down the law enforcement, don't get me wrong. But I'm saying us as people, and for all you people on ESPN and Fox Sports that were so mad about what Drew Brees and Jake Fromm said, remember, not saying anything is what got us to this point. Every time we stood up and we fought, they had to figure out a new way to restrict us. Our voices have power. Tom Brady's voice has power, but he's only going to use it to his selfish advantage. And that selfish personality is the personality that all you owners love because love because you guys feed off of people's egos. Once someone's ego and their selfishness is no longer useful to you, you, spit, you chew them up and you spit them out. That never happened to Tom Brady because Tom Brady was always the ass kisser. Tom Brady was always the guy that took orders before he took initiative. So no, he doesn't care about what's happening and I don't expect him to care. I don't expect him to care. I don't expect him to care when the referees who get paid to officiate the league 
are celebrating along with him when he wins the playoff game. I don't expect him to care when the league literally makes up a brand new rule on the spot just to prevent him from losing a playoff game. I don't expect him to care when everyone's making it out to be his world. Because you treat people the way they act, but you act the way you treat it. If you are a just person that's done barely any wrong, and Tom Brady, not to say he's a bad person, but I'm just saying, if you get treated like a selfish, privileged person, eventually you're gonna act like it. No matter how just you are, no matter how reasonable you are, Patrick Mahomes might be one of the favorites in the league, but guess what? Patrick Mahomes stood up. Not just because he minor he's a minority, but Patrick Mahomes understands that whether he wins the Super Bowl or not, Colin Kaepernick understood whether he wins the Super Bowl or not. This very same thing could happen to him. Tom Brady, this very same thing could happen to you. But because, only because of your name, not even barely your race, not even barely your race, because there are white people who get attacked by police, it would just never be Tom Brady. It would just never be Tom Brady because America and the NFL and this entire world just loves Tom, just loves Tom Brady. Roger Goodell just loves, Roger Goodell loves Tom Brady. He practically admitted that. The, 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 the way you treat people are eventually the way they act and it goes back to minorities too. We were treated like animals for years. So psychologically, we had no choice but to act like animals. This man, his whole life has been treated like a, his whole career in the NFL has been treated like a baby. So eventually he had no choice but to psychologically act like a baby. Babies don't usually cry when things happen to other people ex unless it's their family. When it happens to another child, baby, babies, babies might not understand. That's how Tom Brady acts. Like he doesn't understand what's going on. And you people, and you people let him, and you people let him act that way. I'm just not gonna sit here. I'm just not gonna sit here and be silent. Not when Drew Brees and Jake Fromm is taking heat. No, 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 no. Again, silence is the ally of discrimination. Keep that in mind.